So let's look at some polynomials. We'll take their derivatives. The most useful rule here is the power rule. Remember that when you have the derivative of x to the n, that's the derivative is you bring the exponent down and x to the n minus 1. The constant multiple rule says if you have a constant in front of your function, for example, there's 3 in front of the x squared, you can kind of ignore it. Take the derivative of the function, like the x squared part, and then multiply the constant back in. So here, in a, in a monomial, you're really just multiplying the power by the coefficient in order to obtain a new coefficient. So let's do that for this one. Remember that you, when you do the derivative of something minus something or something plus something, like here, these four terms, one, two, three, four, you can just do each of them individually and string them back together with the signs. So let's do this. The derivative of x to the fifth is five, five x to the fourth minus four x cubed plus we have two times three, which is six x, and the derivative of a constant is zero. So the answer is just five x to the fourth minus four x cubed plus six x. For the second one, we have. 6 times 7 is 42, that's 42x to the 5th, minus 5 times 12 is 60, x to the 12 minus 1 is 11, plus, you can think of this as 37x to the 1st, and you're multiplying 1 by 37, and then you get x to the 0, which would be 1, so it will be 37, or you can just remember that for a linear monom for a linear term, for a linear function, the coefficient or the slope of the linear function is the derivative, so you can just write down 37 and ignore the x.